I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends Good morning, guys. Let's dive straight into the first meal of the day, which is eggs and fruits. I'm never really hungry in the morning, so this is pretty much all I'll eat until lunch. Now I'm gonna go do some deep work as I find I have the most mental clarity and motivation in the mornings. It's my summer break right now, so there's no schoolwork or studying to do. My deep work mostly consists of scripting and editing videos. All right, so the second meal of the day is at lunchtime. I'm often still not very hungry, so I try to eat some calorie dense foods to ensure I'm not in a deficit. You'll see throughout this video, guys, that I have a small appetite especially during the day. That's how I get away with eating junk food fairly often without gaining excessive weight. It's because in terms of quantity, I'm really not eating that much. Anyways, for today, we've got leftover pizza. I also try to get some fruits or veggies in after the meal. More times than not though, it's gonna be fruits cause I have a child's palate and hate most veggies. Lastly for this meal, I'm having a protein milkshake. There's another tip for you guys who are struggling to gain weight. Liquid calories are much easier to consume so having something like a smoothie at the end of your meal can be super helpful. Right after lunch is usually when I get my afternoon crash and I feel at my lowest in terms of energy. That's why I've been choosing this time of the day to do some more mentally light tasks like vacuuming, mopping, doing the laundry, cleaning my room, or any other chores along those lines. I give myself about an hour to digest while doing chores, then I'll get back to work on content for a bit. Okay guys, now we get into the fun part of the day. I decided to split today's workout in two parts because I'm planning on training at the gym with a friend. Since my friend doesn't do calisthenics, the first part is my solo calisthenics routine at home. For this workout, I'll be alternating between front lever work and hand balancing. Starting off with a few warm up handstands on the wall, then I move on to banded front lever work. I'm currently really trying to focus on form and breathing as well as increasing hold times. I'm aiming for three sets of around 15 seconds. Next up, I've added this new handstand exercise in my routine. I'm basically moving out of alignment on purpose and then trying to get back into alignment without using the wall. It's almost like a partial range of motion planche press to handstand. The goal is to learn how to create balance in multiple positions. It's also great because it transfers to other skills like the planche and the handstand push-up. I'm going for four to five sets of around three reps. Next up, we have tuck front lever to inverted deadlifts for about two sets of five to get some more dynamic front lever work in. And we finish off this workout with a few max handstand holds. It's now time for supper and the vast majority of the time, I'm having whatever the parents are cooking. Today, we have a simple pork and rice meal. I'm going to eat this real quick and then I'm getting ready to meet up with a friend at the gym for the second workout. I had a different agenda. Switch out the focus, it's not for the key. Used to be rapping in classes with pillows and blankets, but they boy slept on my shit. I don't get everything. Okay, so for the weightlifting workout today, I'm starting off with a bench press for three sets in the six to 10 rep range. Following that up with some rows that I didn't film because there were too many people around the machine and I didn't want to be a bother. So here's a clip from another day. Did that for three sets, also in the six to 10 rep range. After that, we went into pec deck flies for two sets in the 10 to 15 rep range, simply because I enjoy the pump I get from higher reps on this exercise. And we finish off the workout with three sets of bicep curls in the eight to 12 rep range. Once again, the rep range is mostly a matter of preference here. As long as you're not in the extreme low or extreme high rep ranges, you'll be fine for hypertrophy purposes. Hey guys, sorry for the change of audio. I'm just driving home from the gym and heading straight to the tennis courts actually to play a little bit of sports get my cardio in and i wanted to take this opportunity while i'm driving there to talk a little bit about my fitness philosophy because as you might have noticed it's not necessarily the most optimal the way i train the way i eat you've seen me eat you know pizzas ice cream and junk food that kind of stuff i eat that pretty much every day but uh, i'm still able to maintain a fairly low body fat percentage. I'm probably gonna overlay some pictures here for you guys. Same goes for my training. I'm doing calisthenics and then heading to the gym and then playing sports right after. Some fitness gurus will probably tell you that that's suboptimal and that I might overtrain or that I'm shredding myself too thin. But I know my body, I know myself, I know what I can handle as I've been training for many years. And this has worked for me the best because it's what I enjoy the most. So that's just something that I wanna kind of instill in you guys in terms of mentality, is that you'll see online a lot of people 
telling you that there's only one good way of doing things. And for me, that's kind of an indicator that they don't necessarily know what they're talking about if they say that there's just one way to do, one way to train. Because there's just so many different goals, so many different people that want different things, right? And especially for us, most of us, we don't have a deadline. We're not training for a competition or anything like that. So the best thing for us is training in a way that we can stick to. It's kind of like that quote, you might have heard it before. It's uh, the person that enjoys walking is going to go further than the person that loves the destination. Right? The person that loves walking is going to go further than the person that loves the destination. And that's kind of how I like to go about my training, you know. Okay, we made it to the courts. So while you enjoy this low-level tennis gameplay, I'll talk about a question that I get pretty often from you guys pertaining to my height and weight. I am a pretty short guy at 5'4", weighing around 140 pounds on a good day. This means I probably need less calories than you would for a proportionally similar physique. That's why I always say in my videos that you can take inspiration from someone's diet and training, but you should always make sure to adapt it to make it work best for you. Also, I want you to remember that this is a Sunday in the middle of summer, so I have much more free time to do many training sessions. If I had less time and needed to cut down on my workouts, I'd focus on one calisthenic skill instead of two, and I'd cut out the tennis as well for a less time-consuming form of cardio instead. Now the day's coming to an end, and I'm having the last meal of the day, which is a cheesy snack. And by cheesy snack, I mean literally cheese and nothing else. Look at this though, 90 calories and six grams of protein per slice. For someone who struggles with getting their calories in, this just works. Now you might think I'm weird for this, but I find melted cheese in a bowl goes hard. Throw in a little bit of saute spices and you've got yourself a snack. And that's basically it for this day in the life, guys. Hopefully you got some value, but also some entertainment out of this. If not, you have my permission to talk shit in the comments. Thanks for watching. Tell the little bitch if you keep talking, we can get busy. Get rich or die trying to feel like feed. 